Is your EA app showing error code EC 201 every time you launch it? You click the icon, wait, and then get hit with a connection error that shuts everything down? You're not alone. This frustrating error is typically caused by misconfigured network adapters, corrupted cache data, or broken login sessions. The good news? This video walks you through real solutions, tested and working fixes that'll get the EA app back online and running smoothly. Let's fix it step by step. What causes EC201? EC201 happens when the EA app fails to connect to EA's servers during startup. This can be triggered by the app trying to connect through a disconnected or virtual network adapter, corrupted cache or configuration files, invalid login tokens that can't be verified, or a damaged EA app installation. Now let's go through every fix, including a few that are almost always overlooked. Fix one, run EA app as administrator. This quick fix solves permission-based launch issues. Close the EA app completely. Right-click the EA shortcut on your desktop. Select run as administrator. Try logging in again. If that doesn't fix it, move on to network specific solutions. Fix two, check your internet connection. Before going deeper, make sure your connection is stable. Restart your router. Switch to a wired connection if possible. Temporarily disable VPNs or proxy services. Or test using a mobile hotspot to rule out your local connection. Then, relaunch the EA app and see if it connects. Fix three, flush your DNS and reset network settings. Network corruption can block the EA app from resolving EA's servers. Let's reset it. Open command prompt as administrator. Type and run these commands one by one. IP protocol configuration slash flushdons. Netch WinSock reset. Netch and IP reset. Restart your PC and try launching the EA app again. Fix four, set a custom DNS. Your ISP's DNS might be the issue. Set Google DNS manually. Go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network Connections. Right-click your active network, Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, Properties. Choose, use the following DNS server addresses. Enter. Preferred, 8.8.8.8. Alternate, 8.8.4.4. Apply the changes, restart the EA app, and test again. Fix 5. Disable and use network adapters. The EA app can crash if it tries to use a Bluetooth, virtual, or inactive adapter. Here's how to disable them. Press Windows plus R, type in pa.cpl, and hit enter. Right-click any adapters marked as disconnected, virtual, or unused VPN slash Bluetooth entries. Select disable, but don't touch your main internet connection. Close the window, restart your PC, and launch the EA app. Fix 6. Clear EA app cache. Corrupted cache files often prevent successful connection. To wipe the cache manually, press Windows plus R type. Percent program data percent slash EA desktop. Delete the EA desktop and origin folders. Then go to percent app data percent. Delete EA or origin folders from both roaming and local. You can also do this through the EA app. Open EA app. Click the menu icon. Go to help. App recovery. Click clear cache. After this, Reboot and relaunch the app. Fix 7. Sign into EA.com with Keep Me Signed In. Sometimes the EA app fails to fetch login tokens. Open your browser and go to EA.com. Click Sign In in the top right. Log in with your EA credentials. This helps re-establish a valid session and often fixes EC201. Fix 8. Temporarily disable antivirus or firewall. Your firewall might be blocking the EA app's outbound connection. Temporarily turn off your antivirus or firewall. Launch the EA app to see if it works. If it does, add the EA app as an allowed exception in your security software. Be sure to re-enable protection afterward. Fix 9. Repair or reinstall the EA app. If all else fails, repair or reinstall the app. Go to Settings, Apps, Installed Apps. Find EA app. Click the three dots advanced options. Click Uninstall. Download the latest installer from EA's official website. Reinstall from scratch. Don't worry, your installed games won't be deleted. Still not working? Check EA server status. Sometimes, the issue isn't on your side at all. Visit https colon slash slash help.ea.com slash n. Look for any server maintenance or outages under EA app or game services. If EA servers are down, you'll have to wait for them to resolve it. Optional, use a system repair tool. If you've recently had Windows issues, corrupted system files could interfere with your apps. Tools like Fortect can scan and repair Windows components, especially helpful if your EA app won't work no matter what. 
This isn't always necessary, but it's a good final step for deeper system issues. If this video helped you out, drop a like and hit subscribe for more real PC fixes that actually solve the problem, not just guesswork. Still stuck? Drop a comment below and I'll personally help troubleshoot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement